Good evening, America. I'm Michelle Lujan Grisham, governor of the great state of Nuevo Mexico. I'm proud of my home state every single day, especially how we have punched above our weight in our successful response to COVID-19. I'm proud of New Mexicans from Taos to Truth or Consequences who have stepped up and sacrificed in so many incredible ways this past half year. And I'm proud how we embrace our multicultural identity as our greatest strength. And I'm proud that New Mexico has shown what climate leadership looks like. While the Trump administration has been eliminating environmental protections, we've expanded them. While they've been rolling back regulations on oil and gas, we've taken on polluters and held them accountable. We've committed to a renewable energy future with exciting and fulfilling careers for workers all across our beautiful strait, including right here in the heart of Northern New Mexico. We're laying a roadmap here for what America can and should look like in the 21st century. An America where we lead again, where we build safer, cleaner, and more affordable cities and communities, where we provide meaningful opportunities for workers and families to thrive and build better lives. As president, Joe Biden will rejoin the International Climate Agreement, and the United States will once again lead on this critical issue. At home, he'll invest in energy workers and he will deliver for working families across the U.S., helping them build meaningful careers while accelerating our nation and world into a clean, green 21st century and well beyond. We know time is running out to save our planet. We have the chance this November to end two existential crises, the Trump presidency and the environmental annihilation he represents. We have the chance this November to attack the climate crisis, invest in green 21st century jobs, and embrace the clean energy revolution our country, our young people are crying out for, and the leadership the rest of the world is waiting for. The choice is clear. The choice is Joe Biden. Thank you, America.